Terrapins and the Wolfpack of NC State. And we'll return with the opening tip off after these messages. NC State's first possession. Maryland opens up in the man to man pressure defense. And Stinson ties it. Lehman, quite a three point shooter. We'll keep an eye on her. Manning now to Hobbs. Shot clock at eight seconds. Keep in mind that women's basketball, a 30 second shot clock is used. Stinson drills another one. And Sabrina Rivers was all over her. That's the talent of Andrea Stinson. Maybe when you've got a great player like a Stinson, there's a tendency to fall back and stand around and watch her and let Andrea do it as she fires up. And this one bounces in for her. But I've been impressed with the state ball movement. Bullet pass inside to Winters. Rebounded by Hall. Here's oh, Stinson on the hand. fly. What a great tremendous hand. feed by Parker. That tandem of Danielle Parker and Andrea Stinson is so good. They're so quick. It was a perfect thread the needle pass to Andrea right where she needed it. Panic. Rebound Stinson. NC State pushes ahead. Stinson pulls up. Hits. And that's where Andrea Stinson excels in the open court. She can beat anyone at any time. She's going right to the basket. Over to Kilburn. Hobbs. Up top, panic. All the way down. Stayed with a minute to go in the half. Stinson reverses and scores. And that's what everybody came to see. Andrea Stinson in the open court. Why they're coming out this way, if they're tired or what's, what's the problem, but they were much more cohesive in the first half offensively. Here's Stinson to energize the Wolfpack. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so the Maryland run continues. It's now 10 zip, and the Terps lead by six. Stinson to take charge. Andrea Stinson is the type of player that can turn a game around single-handedly. There's a shot right there. Bradley wide open. Stinson has it for NC State. Pull up jumper. I'll tell you, I've seen a lot of games so far this season, Bob, and nobody pulls up for the short jumper better than Andrea Stinson. Three pointer for Carla Holmes. No. Here's Lehman. Stinson. Back to Lehman for three. Yes. You cannot. Oh. <laughs> you can't leave Nicole Lehman alone. Stinson puts it in. She's got to be one of the best jump shooters that I've seen in a long, long time. Really does hang in the air before she shoots that ball. Here's Stinson working on Rivers. Well, they've gone head to head all afternoon. Rivers has done a very nice job in the half court on Andre Stinson. Layman, four in a row. 20 points for Nicole. Pressure by Maryland. Stinson. Lehman against Bradley. Stinson against Rivers. And Curry Hobbs beats NC State in front. Bradley missing. Rebound. Gilbert. Long pass up. And Stinson controls it. And puts it in. Oh, what a great grab by Andrea Stinson. That was well out of her reach, and she was able to control that for the transition bucket. Great, great play. Six-point lead for State. Maryland cuts it in hand. Holmes drills the three-pointer. The Terps call timeout. Stinson. Now to Kilburn. NC State has really been able to negate the pressure of Maryland full court by putting the ball in Andrea Stinson's hands. Oh, missing. Rebound. Panic. It's going to be out of bounds, and it belongs to Maryland. Last touched by Hobbs of NC State. Well, look for a moment that Chris Weller's club was in some trouble, but now they have a chance to cut it to one with a two-pointer and tie it with a three-pointer. Go 
nowhere to go, but uh, Holmes was right there. I'll tell you right now, it's really the Carla Holmes and Terry Bradley show for now. And Carla Holmes has regained the shooting touch. She's got 24, and Maryland within a point. Play number one, Princeton State get the ball to Andrea Stinson. Can't give her an inch. <laughs> she had four players by the time she got to the basket in close range, and she just went right over. Holmes at the other end, missing. Back by three with the ball. That's the time remaining of the game. Shot clock at 23 and a steal. Maryland and scoring is Rivers. Sabrina Rivers is so good defensively. 47 seconds left. And here's a mismatch right here. Nicole Lehman telling everyone to go away, but that's a terrible mismatch. And a near steal that time by Maryland, but they couldn't spring the trap. Inside it's Hobbs. Missing. Maryland with a rebound. Outlet pass to home. And a two on one with Nicole Lehman defending. And Bradley puts Maryland on top by a point. 76, 75, 22 seconds left. The Wolfpack bringing it up. Somebody's got to get a timeout and get a last second shot. Stinson with it. Stinson from 15. Yes! <laughs> Who else would you have shoot that shot? Timeout Maryland with five seconds to go. No question who you would have shoot a last second shot for NC State. Look at the control, look at the form, and look at the results. NC State with a one point lead. A timing on the court with a score. NC State 77, Maryland 76. Six seconds to go. Maryland's down by a point. Into Bradley, fumbled it. That could be costly. Intercepted by Kilburn. NC State's going to win the game. That's it. Wolfpack wins it by a point. had more balance than you've had in the past. We talked about the inside game not being quite as strong as you'd like. You got a lot of help inside today. Well, uh, Nicole knows what we thought we've, we've been a one dimensional team and we know that we've got to become three dimensional and uh, another aspect is the inside game. We've been concentrating on it and we did take it in more today. I think we can do it even more, but I'm pleased with what we did today. You can see now we'll have a replay on the monitor here. And, it, and your offense was really running smoothly. We talked about it being a little bit stale. But you can see, look at Nicole shooting. She was four for six from three-point land. <laughs> Nicole, you just, did you feel it or what? Yeah, you know, we had been going to Andre a lot in the game, and I knew that she's such a great player that they would go to her at the end of the game, and I would allow me to get open. And I dribbled the ball a lot during the game, so I felt a touch coming. But. That was great. One of the things that you were that really opened you up is they were concentrating on doubling on Andrea anytime she made a move to the basket and you were so heads up. Did the pressure that they put on you affect you early on? Yeah, but you know, we had been going against it's my third year here and I knew what to expect. Coach Yao was prepping us all, all couple of days. And I knew, you know, I have to give a lot of credit to our inside today. They did a heck of a job boxing out and things just opened up for me. Maybe we can get Andrea in here to get, give her give some of her insights as well. Andrea, congratulations. How's it feel? It feels great. I mean, last year they beat us three times in a row, and I felt bad about it, but we finally got one in. 